Hi and welcome to my guide. Today we're going to be completing the Desert Heart Diary. The quest requirements are the feud, Dream Mentor, Desert Treasure and Contact. Skill requirements are 10 defense, 45 mining, 50 attack, 60 fire making, 65 slayer, 65 thieving, 68 magic, 68 smithing and 70 agility. All stats can be boosted except for defense and attack. For the items needed is that you will need to be on the Lunar Spellbook. Then for the actual items is any kind of blackjack, any kind of pickaxe, one astral, one fire and three water runes, an empty water skin, a slayer helmet, a charis. If you've lost your Karis, you can simply get it back by talking to Osman in front of the Alcrit Palace. Then you also need to have a Light Source, a U-Log and a Tinderbox, 5 Mithril Bars and a Hammer. For the recommended items is some weight reducing armor and one Stamina Potion should be enough. Then you also need to have a weapon to kill a Dust Devil. Next is some armor, food and uh, a prayer potion to kill one Scarabite. And also you need to have some food, armor and weapon to kill the Calphite Queen at least once. Then for the teleports, one uh, Narda teleport scroll or a desert amulet number 2. Approximately 600 GP but bring a little bit more just to be safe. A Camelot with at least one charge and then one teleportation method to the Calphite Queen. So where I want to complete my first diary task is in Polifnic. So let's travel to over there. Alright, after arriving in Poldefnitch, let's go south and for our first task we will need to knock out a Manified Thug, just like in the uh, feud quest. So let's go to the account that actually has the thieving requirement and let's first equip our Maple Blackjack. So first, to be able to knock out the thugs, they will first need to be secluded from any other people so this can be done if they are alone in a room you could either just hop around in this building and there should be two manified thugs in each of the rooms else you will need to use the lure option and then get them in the room next knockout and pickpocket and this will complete task number one next i don't need this account anymore Let's go and do a lap around the agility course here. This requires 70 agility. Alright, once you've completed one lap successfully, let's go south and now we'll need to kill one smoke devil, which is in the slayer dungeon of uh, where Farid was in the desert treasure quest. There we have passed a couple of uh, smoke devils, we will just need to kill one in there while we have a slayer helm equipped. Now before we enter the well, I want you to first stand next to it. 
which is in the desert heat. And while we are here in the desert heat, let's cast the humidify spell while you have a water skin in your inventory. Once you've filled one up with this spell, this will complete task number two. Next, let's climb down the well while having the uh, Slayer Helm equipped, of course, to not get uh, damaged by the smoke. And here we just need to kill one Dust Devil. Doesn't matter which one. Alright, once you've defeated it, this will be task number 4 completed. Next, uh, let's teleport to the Ankara's Temple by uh, using one charge of the Camelot. And let's now go outside of this temple and go to the Quarry Mine. Right, climb up the stairs, climb up the sand, and let's go a bit southwest to the mine. And the rocks just north of the wheelbarrow, that should be some granite. Once you've mined some, this will be task number 5 completed, out of 10 already. We are halfway there. Next, let's uh, run southeast and go to the desert pyramid of desert treasure. That is just located a bit southwest from here, not too far away. So uh, let's change spellbooks to ancients uh, to complete task number seven. We don't need to go through the entire pyramid once again. Of course, we can just walk around to the back door. Alright, pray at the altar. Pray at the altar again if you don't want to be on the ancient spellbook. Next, let's teleport to Narda, either by using the Desert Amulet 2 or the teleport scroll. And let's now go east to the mayor's house. This is the biggest building with the quest sign. And let's climb up the ladder, which you can clearly see on your minimap. Next, go to his balcony, and here we'll need to light our U-Logs. Next, let's climb back downstairs and go to the carpet in Narda. Just north of that carpet and the transportation sign, there we should see an anvil sign. There, we will need to use that anvil and make a mithril plate body. Next, let's go to the Rock Merchant and travel to Sofenum, but first we will need to go to uh, Polyphnich and afterwards take that Rock Merchant over there to Sofenum.
All right, when you have your Keras and your uh, light source, let's go to the bank. You can also simply grab it from the bank, no problem. The bank is uh, downstairs in the northeastern building, just like from the contact quest, that was your reward. Next, let's climb down the ladder and proceed. Yes, yes, yes. Next, uh, let's go northwest. Watch out for the pit, just like in a contact quest, and use protect from magic. Maybe drink a prayer potion first. Equip your Keras and let's kill the Scarab Mage with a Keras. I think the final damage just has to be done with the uh, Keras, so uh, use something else. Just use the Keras for the final damage. And that should be the task completed. Nice. Right, if you just now check, don't go that way. Okay, check your diary log. There is only one more task remaining, which is to kill the Calphite Queen. So let's go to Dual Arena, go to the Elkrit Bank and prepare to fight the Calphite Queen. Now I'm not really that good at PVM. So I suggest you to watch someone else's guide if you don't know how to kill the Calphite Queen. I'm just going to show you the footage how I have killed it. So maybe use the same strategy or same methods or just use someone else's guide. I'm not going to be really uh, explaining how to do it. And after you've defeated the Calphite Queen once, you will be able to claim your reward from Jar at the Chanty Pass. And these rewards are... One experience lamp which grants 15,000 experience in any skill above level 50. All the carpet rights are now free. The Pharaoh Scepter now holds 6 charges. There is now an option to move the Camelot teleport destination to the dungeon entrance instead of inside. And Zahir in Narda's Herblore Shop will now trade noted unfinished potions for noted clean herbs with noted files of water and 200 GP each potion. Now this was my guide how to complete the Desert Heart Diary. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.